Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Julie Stewart, Energy Director here at the Milner Group, and welcome to our Thursday sales call. Uh, we do appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us this morning as we discuss an income opportunity that your clients are going to want to hear about. Uh, this really is a unique opportunity that is really the most client-centric that we've seen and really providing advisors uh, a solution to the guaranteed sustainable income. Now, we know that 80% of index annuities are sold with an income rider attached, so our clients are already focused on that longevity risk and wanting guarantees. And I'm sure you would agree that when you're speaking with clients age 65 and over, they're beginning to realize that they're going to spend a third of their lives in retirement. And that's really quite a realization. And in fact, life expectancy of a male right now at the age of 65 is 89, and the life expectancy of a female age 65 is between 92 and 93 years of age. So from a planning perspective, we're quickly finding ourselves in a situation where we're going to need to begin planning now beyond age 100. So how do we give pre-retirees the best possible advantage to maximize their savings for lifetime income? Um, and really, whether the need is immediate or down the road. So today I'm joined by Mac Campbell, Vice President of Distribution for Athene. And Mac's going to talk about Athene's response to the need for a more client-focused income opportunity. And really the response is with the launch of their Ascent Pro series. Um, in addition to the income solution, Mac is going to touch on uh, two short-term index annuities that they also released on this platform that really are garnering a ton of attention from a growth an accumulation standpoint, especially for the clients looking for shorter surrenders. So how many clients, you know, we have a lot of clients that are looking for less than a 10-year commitment with actual opportunity for upside. So uh, during the presentation, if you do have questions, there is a chat box available, and this is live, so feel free to chat your questions, and at the end, Mac will address all of them. Um, as always, we do appreciate the opportunity to do business with you, so please feel free to reach out direct to the Milner Group for case design and any marketing support um, at the end. All right, Mac, take it away. Hey, thanks, Julie. I appreciate your, uh, the intro and the partnership at the Milner Group. And uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Again, Mac Campbell, VP of Sales with Athene, and, and happy to be sharing this great information with you today. You know, Julie said a lot of important information regarding longevity and you know not, not only are clients uh, living or people are living longer once we identify a solution to provide them with income they, they want to be able to control it they want to be able to have flexibility they want to determine when to take it uh, how much perhaps to take and how it grows you know at a scene we have been I think over the last several years uh, We've had a very competitive portfolio when it comes to accumulation products. And on April 11th, we launched uh, virtually nationwide, where we're nationwide now except for New York, which we'll share in a few moments, the new Athena Ascent Pro series of indexed annuities. And this largely addressed what I thought was a bit of a gap in our portfolio at the time, and that was in the, in the income marketplace. You know, as Julie mentioned, 80% of these things roughly uh, have some sort of income rider attached. So as you'll see in a few moments, we've addressed the income story in a major way, a very competitive way, and we've got options for you as a producer to give your customer, whether they're looking for guaranteed income solutions or perhaps you know what, what, what is known as the participating or maybe the stacked uh, income opportunities as well, letting the indexed annuity further enhance the growth for the client. Of that income. So if you really take one thing away from the next you know, 25 minutes or so, uh, just know that we are market leaders. Um, now we're not going to win in every cell. Uh, we win roughly in 80% of the scenarios though. That means across multiple issue ages, varying durations. I'd venture to say that any duration or any issue age inside of a decade, inside of 10 years, we're probably going to be number one in the business. You know, we know there's a lot of quoting software out there. Uh, a lot of different IMOs have the, give you the ability to do that as well. If you have not quoted Athene's Ascent Pro series for income recently, uh, please do. I think you'll like what you see. So market-leading income, again, whether your client's looking for guaranteed, or sort of that pension-type income, or stack roll-up options, 
as I mentioned, we're, we're going to give clients flexibility too. They can choose guaranteed or not. They can also choose uh, different ways to receive their money, as we'll discuss in a few moments. They can get a level payout. They can get an inflation-adjusted payout. Or what's new to Athene, we call it the earnings indexed payout. And I believe that's where I think a lot of the customers will make their choice. We'll then close with some additional enhanced features. A few of these features you may have seen before on some of our other products if you're familiar with our portfolio, but we've got some new ones as well, specific to the shorter term products that Julie uh, referred to, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about those at the end. So again, by, by offering one of the industry's most versatile optional income riders, this is not required, this is optional. Uh, there are a lot of products out in the marketplace that require you to purchase the rider. These are optional, and that's important to know but you're going to win with market leading guaranteed and stacked income, as I said. So let's take a quick look at what the choices are. And the clients have two choices to grow their money. So what we're talking about here, this is the deferral. We're not talking about receiving income. We'll do that in a moment. We're deferring right now. And one, when the client sits with you on that closing appointment and they decide to buy the product, they can, first of all, they can attach the rider to both our seven year in our 10-year, we also have a 10-year bonus product as well. We have a five-year product, but we don't believe income is the solution for a five-year space. We think that's more short-term accumulation. So you can attach either one of these income riders to the seven or the 10 or 10 bonus. Option one is simply the guaranteed rider. And quite simply, that's gonna grow your client's money at 10% simple for the first 10 years and then 5% simple for the next 10 years. So it's a full 20 years of growth, 10% and then 5%. Option two is the stacked option. Now, despite the fact that it's stacked or uses indexed crediting to help enhance the income, there still is a very sizable guarantee here. And you see there on the 10-year chassis, we've got a 6% simple guaranteed roll-up for 20 years and then on top of that, any year the client earns value in their account, their indexed accumulated value account, we're essentially going to double that by applying a 200% participation rate and stack that on top of the 6% simple that they've already earned. So if, if you're a believer in the market, believer in indexing, uh, I, I, I tend to be. I think the market over the long term will be up more than it's down. You can really do some incredible things for your clients income earning possibilities with that option two. Now again, these are decided at issue. Option one's again, the guaranteed rider, which we'll spend a little time talking about as well. And then option two, again, is that guaranteed growth plus the stack roll up on top of that. Now, just wanted to point out, if you're selling the 10 year, uh, the 10 year bonus product here, in addition to these roll up rates that we, we add a 10% income bonus right out of the gate. So if we step back for a minute and we just, as an example, use option one. So we're going to, we're going to give $100,000 into the case. We're going to add a 10% income bonus right out of the gate. So at the end of that first year, when we've added the income multiplier, that bonus, plus we've earned 10% simple, for income purposes, after one year, the client's got $120,000. So you've effectively grown their money for income purposes 20% in that first year guaranteed. And that's powerful. So you can really start to see how this is going to add up for clients. So here's just a quick chart or graph, if you will, to kind of illustrate what we discussed and kind of put some timing around it. So here we have a $100,000 case. We're using our bonus annuity here. And you see there's an immediate 10% income base bonus. So that 100 turns into 110 right from the, from the starting point and then grows. We're going to go out 10 years here uh, at 10% simple. So you're effectively doubling the client's money in 10 years for income purposes. And you can see that along the way, we've chosen a couple of payout just to show you how competitive we are. After five, year, after five years, that 100 is now 160 for income, and that equates to an annual payout of $8,000 guaranteed. That's the highest in the business today. After 10 years, again, that income base more than doubles at 210,000, and that equates to an annual payout for this customer of over $11,550. So it's, it's clean, it's simple. Uh, you know, really indexing, while these are indexed annuities, when you have a guaranteed rider, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you're sure, you hope to earn some value for the customer on their accumulated value side, but ultimately, if they're buying this for income and it's a guaranteed rider, 
You know, this is like one of those set it and forget it kind of deals. Uh, it's, it's a simple story to talk to clients about and powerful because it then again provides, I think, the most competitive income in the market today. So I mentioned before that we will tend to be number one inside of 10 years across any issue age. Here's just some various issue ages, 50 to uh, 55, 60, 65, and 7. And you can see when we defer five years or 10 years how competitive that guaranteed income actually is. And actually, I took the liberty of showing and benchmarking where we stand today versus you know, the rest of the, of, the, or, or the top players, if you will, in the guaranteed marketplace. And you can see uh, compliance has, has told us to remove the competitor information, but you can probably do the math here, uh, particularly the one that has a 14-year 14 14-year withdrawal schedule. You can see after five years, we're assuming a 60-year-old, $100,000 case, uh, we're using a five-year deferral. You can see that we are far and away number one in the market. Ten-year, uh, we're actually not quite number one, but again, look at what we're comparing it to. So we're 11,550 compared to 11,6 and a change. We've got a 14-year surrender charge on that product, though, versus just 10 for a theme. So when you truly compare apples to apples, and you look at the competitors B and C with again that 10-year charge, like us, we are in fact number one in that space as well. So just something to think about. Again, if you're, if you're quoting or selling guaranteed income riders and have not given us an opportunity to show you an illustration, please let us do that. Call the folks at the Milner Group and they'll run you a quote. And again, I know you will like what you see. So that's the guaranteed store. That's option one. Let's shift to talk about option two. And again, this works a little differently. The story is uh, not quite as simple, but again, very powerful, I think, for the right individual. So on, again, you'll recall in this strategy that we are going to basically take our 6% floor, which you see there, that's the orange line. So we take that same 100, we're going to increase it to 110 immediately for income purposes, as you see there. And we're deferring for 10 years in this case. Worst case scenario, if the market returned negative returns for 10 straight years, which, by the way, it's never done, but if it were to do that, the client still gets that 6% simple every year. So their 100 still grows to 185 and change, giving them 10-2, if you will, for income guaranteed. Now, what we've done, even though that's truly the worst case scenario, that's sort of your Armageddon scenario, I guess, if the market's down 10 straight years, we got bigger problems. What we've done is we've chosen one of our two new indices. In this case, we're using one of our two-year point-to-point strategies, the BNP Paribas. And we'll, I'll have a few words on, on that strategy at the end. We back-tested them, and we chose uh, the last 20 years, the worst 10-year performance, the best 10-year performance, and then the average performance as well over that time. And you can see that the 10 worst years that we could identify still churned out $14,000 a year in income. Uh, that 100000 increased to 254000 That's the worst case scenario that we were able to identify. Best case, of course, is, is, is a little bit better, 16 and change. Average is 149. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm from the Boston area, and I'm not sure if it's where I'm from or, or what, what I'm about, but I, I tend to be a pessimist just in general. Uh, when you follow the Red Sox, that's, uh, you don't have a choice there, I'm afraid. I like selling worst-case scenario. And when you show a customer the guaranteed of 10-1 plus the worst that's ever done at 14, I like showing them that because I know I'm going to set myself up for a, a great annual meeting down the road when we actually outperform that. So just food for thought there. Again, you don't have to be in this strategy. You can choose. We've got several different index strategies to pick from. Uh, I believe if you're going to be using an index strategy for stacking purposes for income, it makes sense to use one that does not have a cap like this. This one happens to be a two-year point-to-point design, but we have one-year designs as well. And again, we'll talk about our, our about why we chose the BNP strategy uh, versus others as well at the end. So again, similar to uh, having multiple issue ages where we're competitive on the guaranteed side, we're the same way here on the stack side. So you see the issue age of 50, 55, 60, 65. In each scenario, we're going to defer for 10 years. And you can see the worst, the average, and the best in each of those scenarios. Very powerful. Uh, again, not for everybody. Um, but the good news is if this, is if this story is something that you don't want to talk about with a client or they're not willing to hear it, you got the guaranteed writer to choose from. Uh, that's why we love this product. You have options. You know, you can give them the simple one, the guaranteed, or the better opportunity using option two. So up until this point, we have been talking about deferring and 
and growing our money for income. We've got a guaranteed story, a non-guaranteed story, and now we're going to switch gears and actually talk about receiving the income that we've the, the money that we've we've grown over the five or ten or however long it is going to be for that client. Once they decide to trigger that income, the client has three choices. They have level income, inflation adjusted, or earnings indexed. And again, we're going to talk mostly about level and earnings indexed. I believe those are going to be the two most popular choices for clients when they when they when they do take it. I do want to just pause for a moment and talk about inflation or earnings indexed income versus level and only because I'm a huge believer in getting some sort of inflation protection for clients. You know, it's very easy uh, to get lulled into sort of a false sense of security these days. You know, we've had interest rates have been so low for so long that it's hard to imagine inflation ever being a problem again. But when you're talking about, you know, Julie mentioned at the beginning, when, when clients are living into their 90s, 20, 30, 40 years, I'm not willing to make the bet that inflation will be low for 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, I'm a huge believer in cycles. I think everything is cyclical. I think the stock market is. I think interest rates are. I think employment is. I think inflation is. Over the last two decades, we have trended below the 100-year average uh, on inflation. And I believe that eventually, may not happen in the next two, three, four, five years, but 10, 15, 20 years down the road, it has to swing the other way. If you're choosing or if the client is choosing level income, just make sure you have some sort of other plan in place to address inflation when it does rear its head down the road. If you choose earnings index, though, or inflation-adjusted income, that is already automatically built in. So just food for thought. Again, I'll get off my soapbox here. The, the reason I say that is because, you know, when you look at all these spreadsheeting softwares and websites that show what the highest possible income is for clients across a whole bunch of different companies, and again, we should float to the top in many of those scenarios, more often than not, the figure they're quoting is level income. That's going to be the highest initial income because you do take a little haircut by getting inflation protection out of the gate. Uh, again, it's okay just make sure that there's another plan in place for that client. So with that, let's talk a little bit about earnings indexed, how it works, and how it can really be meaningful for your client uh, down the road. So again, what I've done is I've, I've created a chart here to show you the difference between what level income might look like and then what earnings indexed may look like as well. And what we're effectively doing, and this is, in this example, we had a $100,000 case sold to a 55-year-old, and we've deferred for 10 years. So you can see at age 66, this individual has got a couple of choices they can make. They can choose a level guaranteed income of 10,500 forever, and you can see that if in this example that goes out to about quarter million dollars over the next over the next 24, 25 years, or they can elect an earnings indexed option for income. Now, what what's going to happen out of the gate? And you see that in year one, instead of 10.5, there is a bit of a haircut. They get 91.35. That's that translates to a 65 basis point reduction in payout for that client over the course of the, the, over the course of the, uh, that starting point. Now look what happens though at the end of the fifth or sixth year because we're using any growth they receive in their indexed account we automatically apply that to next year's payment and grow it by that figure. Uh, you can see that based on our back testing inside of six years, uh, we've already beaten the level payout. Generally, the crossover points between years five and six or so, and it gets really powerful even more down the road. If we go at, say, 18 to 20 years, we're at sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 versus the 10-5 that we had initially. Uh, chances are, because of inflation, that 10500 level payment they're getting today will not feel like 10500 24 years from now. It might. I think it's going to be nice to have the opportunity to grow that payout each year possibly, assuming there's growth to be had, of course, uh, you know, for, for them. And you can see the bottom line here over 24 years, again, based on the back testing we've done, um, you're getting well over almost $80,000 more uh, over the 24-year period. So, and as Julie mentioned, you know, the longer people live, the more dramatic that difference could become. So that's really the income story. You know, you've got level, you've got inflation, you've got earnings indexed. I mentioned at the beginning we've got a couple of enhanced features as well. 
A few that are new, one has uh, sort of been uh, added to the portfolio as well that we've had on other products. Uh, we've got a new uh, minimum interest credit, sort of worst case scenario. Uh, we also have a bailout feature. Uh, bailout features, I believe, are more important on shorter term products. Uh, we have a five year and a seven year product as well. I think that's more important for those products than the 10 year, particularly if you're talking about income. And then we have 10% free. So this is a very consumer friendly liquid product. So 10% free across the board, even in year one. Matt, can you just talk about what the minimum interest credit is? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. I thought I had a slide in here for that. So, so basically the minimum interest credit says, and again, this is one of those features, hopefully we'll never have to test the limits here. But if we do, it's nice to know we have it, and, th and there's no extra charge for it either. It's, it's part of the contract itself. So basically, we'll take a $100,000 example, like we've been doing during the presentation here. If you have a 10-year product, all, we're, all we say for the, with the minimum interest credit is that at the end of the 10th year, if you have uh, not done well, let's say maybe the, you're negative, um, the market has had, a, has had a protracted period of performance, we're going to go ahead and make sure that you, worst case scenario, get 1% a year. So we, if you give us 100, you're walking. If you want to leave, you're walking with 110. On the seven-year product, it works the exact same way, only it's only seven years during the surrender charge. So you, you give us 100, you walk with 107. And of course, the five-year works the same way. So a uh, great sleep at night feature. Again, hopefully they'll do much better than that. But if, if, if not, it's nice to know that's there and it's automatic. Um, so another feature, enhanced feature, that we've had on the portfolio of other annuities we've had is, is our income doubler. We were first to market with this 10, 12 years ago, and we, it's one of our, our best-selling features. However, it is not available all around the country. So make sure if you're selling in a state that typically doesn't like nursing benefits, like my state, Massachusetts, for whatever reason, uh, call the folks at Milner, and they will let you know if it's available where you're, where you're selling. The way this works, again, th th it doesn't matter what income option, you, this is for the guarantee stack. It doesn't matter if you're choosing level or inflation adjusted income or earnings indexed. If your customer is in a skilled nursing facility, and that's important, this is not home health care, this is not assisted living, it's a true nursing or skilled nursing facility benefit, and the contract's been enforced for at least a year, will double their income for up to five years or if and when their accumulated value hits zero, whatever happens first. And there's no additional cost for this. It's automatically included with the rider. Um, what happens at the end of that fifth year, or again, if their value hits zero, the payment doesn't stop. It just goes back to what it was before. So it won't double anymore. It'll just go to that singular level it was before. But, but this is a fantastic feature for someone who might not qualify for long-term care or they don't want to pay annual premiums for it. You know, we've seen a lot of linked benefit insurance out there, and that's great. But again, you have to be underwritten for that. This requires zero underwriting. Uh, there is a waiting period you can see there. It's sort of our elimination period, if you will. Clients got to be confined to that facility for six months out of the last 250-day period. So it doesn't have to be consecutive. It just has to be in that 250-day period, and uh, they will qualify for this. So a very important benefit for, for most people. And again, as, as Julie mentioned, I hate to say it, but the longer we live, Chances are clients, uh, for better or worse, are going to need some sort of protection for uh, paying that, you know, for that kind of health care. Here's our state approval map. A couple different colors here. You know, just know that we're everywhere except for New York. So we're in every state, which is fantastic. There are certain states, if you're selling in them, like Jersey, PA, Texas, Utah, you're used to selling in those states. You know there's going to be variations there, and we've got variations on, the, on these products there. Again, just call the folks at the Milner Group and they'll, they'll steer you in the right direction as to which one is for you and which version you're able to sell to which customer. I do want to spend a little bit of time and then I'll kick it over to Julie and see if there's any questions. Uh, just talking about some of the strategies that we've chosen for these products to really help drive the growth. Uh, and I'll also share with you the rates that we've got on our five and seven year product right now, which are very competitive. So we've got multiple options. We have a fixed account. We've got no fewer than five different indexed accounts. As I said before, we've got one-year options. We've got two-year options. We've got capped, uncapped. So whatever you like to sell, we have something for you. Uh, we've got S&P 500 exposure. We've got uh, different indexed 
exposure as well, which I'll talk about in a moment. We're looking at a lot of numbers here, everybody. What I want to I want to focus in on a couple things. And again, we've 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 spent the lion's share of this discussion talking about income and our ten-year products. I do want to just pause a moment and share with you the rates that we currently have on our five-year and seven-year products. It's those first two columns on your left there. I mentioned that BNP strategy, that two-year point-to-point. We've got 130% participation rate right now. That's over two years. Uh, no cap and no uh, fee at this point. 130% participation uh, is, is, a, is a heck of a deal with the rate right now. If you're more traditional and like annual point-to-points, we've got a five and a quarter percent cap on the S&P 500 strategy on the five and the seven that will be roughly the highest in the marketplace. So these are fantastic places. If you've got short-term money that you need to park somewhere, you know, MIGAs are great. We've got a very competitive one. Uh, but, you know, 2 3% is about all you can do there. Uh, the opportunity to get five and a quarter or 130% participation, I think, is a, is, is a home run for, for, for some people. Now, I mentioned the bailout uh, provision as well. That's important, I think, on the five and the seven year. And it basically, what the bailout does is, 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 is keeps the fiend accountable for making sure they're responsibly setting rates that are good, but also sustainable. So you can see the bailout cap rate in the middle of the slide there, 3% on the 5 and the 7. All that means is that if we set the cap below that number, below 3%, at any point, the client's 100% liquid. They get their money back. You don't have to be in the strategy, the point-to-point the -point strategy that I have there, to, to, to take advantage of that. We're simply just pegging the bailout cap to that one strategy. So just food for thought there. Now, I haven't told you how much the rider costs. That's important, too. It uh, doesn't matter which one you choose, the guaranteed option one or the stacked option two, they're both the same. So it's 1% uh, based on the, uh, the income account value deducted from the accumulated value. And again, that's 1% uh, if you're selling the 10 or the seven year product as well. Remember, you can't add it to the five year. I want to just quickly pause and uh, again talk a little bit about the two new indices that we've added. We're not going to get into, into too much depth here. If you'd like more information, we've got great consumer and, and agent websites set up to talk about these. You can look at performance, uh, what they've done over the last several years, uh, how they work. But, but I do want to kind of share with you why or how we go about at Athene choosing a new index. Um, there's really three criteria we look for. The first is it's got to have a solid track record and really a name brand. Now, BNP Paribas, while it might not be a household name in the United States yet, believe it or not, they are the third largest investment bank in the world. Um, if you're familiar with tennis at all, they've sponsored the French Open every year for the last several years. Uh, so a very reputable brand, one of the largest investment banks in, in the world. And then if you spent any time at all in the registered space or selling variable products at all, you'll recognize the Morningstar brand. Uh, that is one of the most reputable uh, brands in the registered marketplace really over the last 20 years. Uh, I used to sell variable annuities in the 90s, and we used to look at our Morningstar reports every day. So we've partnered with BNP and Morningstar, so I think we've checked the name brand box quite nicely there. But the second thing we look at Really two things here, two parts of the second bullet is innovative designs. Um, one, does it complement what we already have? And you know, two, how are these going to perform? Right. So before these two strategies were added to the portfolio, most of the indexed crediting methods we had used the S&P 500 as the, as the engine to drive the growth. And that makes sense. It's, it's the most visible, the most popular, one of the largest in, in, this, in this country, of course. But we think we could, have, we could add some complementary strategies. And what the BNP strategy does, that actually uses three different economies, United States, Europe, and Japan, and three different asset classes. Uh, we use equities, bonds, uh, uh, and um, uh, equities, bonds, and uh, there's, there's a cash business in there as well. So, you know, we've got multiple levels of diversity there, both geography and asset class, to complement the S&P uh, growth engines that we already have. The second thing we added here, the Morningstar, that targets the highest yielding dividend equities, the 75 highest yielding dividend equities at any given time. 
So, you know, really, I think we've, we've got great name brand here. We've got innovative designs that complement what we already have. But most importantly, you know, we chose these indices not for what they've done, but we chose them for what they will do. So we call that net customer value. You know, it's very easy, I think, to choose a strategy that, that is, illustrates well over the last 10, 15 years, which these do. But again, we chose them for what they will do prospectively, not for what they've done. So we think we've got just an incredible value proposition, whether your clients are looking for short-term accumulation opportunities in the five and the seven, or again, like we've spent most of the discussion here, the income, you know, guaranteed or stacked, we're going to be close to number one, if not number one, in virtually every scenario that we have in the marketplace. We've got some great sales pieces here for you to use with your customers to help tell the story, uh, help you sell the business as well. Um, and again, here's just a quick, we'll, we'll close here, Julie, and I'll kick it back over to you. But this, this is just a quick look at what we've got approved, what the issue ages are. And there's a lot of products here, but just know that there's really, there's really four nationwide. We've got a five-year, a seven-year, a 10 and then a 10 bonus. You can see the issue ages on the 10 year is up to 80 and uh, a bit higher for both the seven and the five. You can see that these are all, except for the bonus version, these are all 10-10 compliant. So if you are in a broker dealer situation, that's okay. You can, you can sell the 10 year non-bonus and still get that amazing rider we discussed. Um, so Julie, with that, uh, that's all the prepared remarks I have. I'm happy to take any questions if they were chatted in. Um, but from there, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Perfect. Thank you, Mac. So I think, I mean, there's a lot of information to cover. And I, I think one key point I want to drive home is what Mac just said at the end there about the competitiveness. <clears throat> we have looked at this product in depth here at the Milner Group um, against every carrier that we currently utilize for an income solution. And it is really honest in stating that they are the most competitive in almost every single scenario that we're running. And it's not just by a few dollars. Generally, we're looking at thousands of dollars over the competition that we can lock in and guarantee for your clients. So it's really just a very powerful story, uh, an opportunity for you to provide a solution that uh, you know is really more client-centric um, than anything we've really seen um, in the industry. Um, now, Mac, I did have one question about where are you seeing the stack interest option being selected? Are you seeing that more in later, you know, longer deferrals for that opportunity for growth of the underlying interest, or, or are you just seeing a, a cross section of you know anyone selecting that? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Um, you know, what's, what's, what's interesting about stacked income is, you know, it's ama it's amazed me how the industry has continue to innovate and, and sort of move and change with the times. Uh, I remember when these things were first launched. With Athene, or actually our predecessor company, Aviva, believe it or not, we were the first company to offer an income rider uh, on an indexed annuity chassis back in 03, 04. And in large part, yeah, they were all guaranteed riders. Uh, what we've seen, we've seen kind of an explosion, really, on these stacked riders over the last, I'd call, I'd say five to six years. And what we're seeing, I think the, the, most of the business we're seeing right now is going in that guaranteed rider because I think most people are looking to access money inside of that 10-year time frame. Uh, I, I would say that, you know, if I've got a customer who's looking for income anytime outside of, say, six, seven years, I'd give, I'd give the stacked one a hard look. You know, I mean, it, it's um, if you've got someone looking to take income in three, four years, you're probably going to do the guaranteed. I mean, why... Why risk not earning anything for them during that time frame? Uh, you may as well guarantee it. But if you've got a, someone who's younger, and you know, we, what we're noticing at Athene is that the average age of our customers is getting lower and lower each quarter that goes by. I mean, it's, we're, we're in the low 60s now. So most of those folks are probably not going to access the funds until they're almost 70. Uh, I think it's a toss-up. It really becomes, what are you more comfortable positioning for that customer? Uh, and you know, do they believe in indexing, really? So but yeah, if we're looking for a generalization, I'd say yeah. I'd say the longer the term you have, uh, the better the opportunity to use that stacked growth option. You got someone looking for early income, I, I just use the guaranteed. You can't go wrong there. 
Hope that helps. No, that makes sense. That makes sense, absolutely. And, and you know, to our advisors, you know, here at the Milner Group, we're definitely here to help you get comfortable with that story of indexing interest and how that really can compound and um, make a great impact on your client's income. So certainly feel free to come to us. Um, it doesn't look like there are any other questions. Please feel free to let us know if you do have questions after the uh, after the webinar, when you're thinking about the information, you certainly can reach out to the Milner Group directly. And we do thank you for taking the time to learn about this new powerful income solution that you now have access to. So we look forward to working with each of you. Mac, thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.